Welcome to pre-math. In this video, we have got this uh, blue rectangle uh, ABCD and this uh, semi-circle with the center all put together as you can see in this given diagram such that uh, the segment uh, AF equals to this segment uh, DF and moreover this segment uh, BF is uh, 5 units and furthermore this angle ABF is being represented by X and now our task is uh, to calculate the area of this uh, blue rectangle uh, ABCD and we are going to calculate uh, the angle X uh, as well. Please don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe and please keep in mind that this figure may not be 100% true to the scale. Let's go ahead and get started and here's our very first step. I am going to label uh, this segment uh, AF as uh, lowercase uh, a then this segment uh, df is going to be lowercase a as well. And now in this uh, next step, I am going to connect this uh, center O with this uh, point of tangency P, as you can see in this uh, next step. And now let's make an observation. We can see that this uh, OP is the radius uh, of this uh, semicircle. I'm going to call this radius uh, lowercase r. And now we can see this uh, segment uh, OP equal to this segment uh, AD. And this uh, segment uh, AD is going to be A plus A is going to be equal to 2 times uh, A. Then we conclude uh, that uh, this uh, radius R is going to be equal to 2 times A. So therefore, uh, I can write uh, lowercase r radius uh, equal to 2 times uh, a and furthermore we know that this uh, ob is the radius of this uh, semicircle as well so this is going to be the radius uh, 2 times a i'm going to just put down 2 times a over here and in this uh, next step i'm going to connect uh, this center o with this uh, point uh, f as well as you can see in this uh, next step and we can see that this uh, OF uh, is the radius of this uh, semicircle as well and we know the radius is uh, 2 times A so I'm going to write down 2 times uh, A over here and now let's focus on this uh, triangle uh, FOB and we can see that this is an isosceles uh, triangle since uh, this side length uh, is uh, 2 times A and this side length is 2 times A as well so therefore we conclude uh, that this uh, angle is going to be congruent to this angle if this angle is x then this angle has got to be x uh, as well and now we are going to focus on this uh, right triangle uh, oaf and now let's make an observation we can see its uh, side uh, af is uh, lowercase a and the high party news uh, is uh, twice of that one that is two times a then we conclude that this uh, triangle uh, OAF is a 30, 60, 90 special uh, triangle. In other words, uh, the angle opposite to this smallest uh, leg is going to be this angle uh, 30 degrees. And this uh, angle is going to be 60 degrees. And this angle is obviously 90 degree angle. And now let's recall the exterior angle uh, theorem. According to this theorem, uh, the exterior angle of a triangle is equal to the sum of two opposite uh, interior angles. As you can see in this uh, given diagram, we can see this angle C is our exterior angle, whereas uh, angles uh, A and B are uh, our opposite uh, interior angles, such that uh, this angle C is going to be equal to angles a plus b so therefore we can see that this uh, angle is going to be our exterior angle and that angle is going to be equal to the sum of these uh, two opposite uh, interior angle x and x so therefore we can write down uh, these two angles uh, x uh, plus x which is going to be equal to two times uh, x uh, is going to be equal to our exterior angle is 30 degrees so I'm going to write down 30 degrees uh, over here and now we are going to divide both sides by 2 to isolate uh, angle X so therefore we can see this 2 and 2 is gone so therefore uh, our angle uh, X uh, 
turns out to be equal to 15 uh, degrees. So therefore our uh, this angle uh, ABF uh, turns out to be equal to 15 degrees. In other words uh, X equal to 15 degrees. And now let's focus on this uh, right triangle uh, FAB. And now let's recall this uh, famous uh, trigonometric ratio. Sine of theta is always equal to opposite side uh, divided by hypotenuse. And in our case for this angle uh, 15 degrees uh, our opposite uh, side uh, is uh, lowercase a and our hypotenuse is 5. So therefore uh, we can write down sine of uh, 15 uh, degrees is going to be equal to opposite side is lowercase a divided by 5. And now I can tweak the left hand side by just putting 1 underneath it doesn't make any difference whatsoever and now we are going to cross uh, multiply so therefore we conclude uh, that our lowercase a value turns out to be 5 times uh, sine of uh, 15 uh, degrees and i am going to label this one as our equation uh, number one and now let's uh, recall another uh, trigonometric ratio it's cosine of theta equals to adjacent divided by hypotenuse and in our case for this angle of 15 degrees this whole side AB is the adjacent and this is our hypotenuse. So therefore I can write down cosine of 15 degrees is going to be equal to our adjacent side is AB length divided by hypotenuse is 5. And once again I'm going to tweak the left hand side by just putting 1 underneath. And now we are going to cross uh, multiply. So therefore our uh, AB length is going to be equal to 5 times uh, cosine of uh, 15 degrees. And now I'm going to label this one as our equation number 2. And here's our final step. Now we are going to calculate the area of uh, this uh, blue rectangle ABCD. And now let's recall the area of rectangle formula. Area is equal to the length uh, times the width of the rectangle. And in our case, uh, the length of this uh, blue rectangle is being represented by AB. So therefore, I'm going to replace that one with this uh, AB length. And furthermore, uh, this uh, side is uh, the width of this uh, blue rectangle and this is uh, 2 times a. So therefore, I'm going to replace that width with uh, 2 times a. So therefore, we can write that uh, this blue rectangle ABCD area is going to be our length is uh, AB times uh, the width is uh, 2 times uh, a. And now we can see from this equation to our uh, AB value is 5 times cosine of 15. So therefore I'm going to replace that one with uh, 5 times uh, cosine of 15 degrees. And moreover from equation 1 we can see A value is uh, 5 times uh, sine of uh, 15 degrees so therefore 2 times a is going to be 10 times sine of 15 degrees so therefore I can write down a b is going to be equal to 5 times cosine of 15 degrees times 2 times a a value is going to be 10 times sine of 15 15 degrees and now we are going to multiply that is going to give us uh, 50 times uh, I can write sine of 15 degrees first times uh, co sine of 15 degrees and furthermore I am going to tweak this uh, 50 50 could be written as uh, 25 times uh, 2 so therefore this whole thing could be written as uh, 25 times uh, I can put in parentheses 2 times uh, sine of uh, 15 uh, degrees times cosine of uh, 15 degrees. And now let's recall this uh, famous uh, identity. 
sin of 2 times x is going to be equal to 2 times sin of x times cosine of x. We are going to apply this identity on this part. So this part could be written as sin of 2 times 15 degrees and that is going to be equal to sin of 30 degrees. So therefore we can write down 25 times sin of 30 degrees. And now we know that sine of 30 degrees is always equals to 1 divided by 2. So I'm going to replace that one with 1 divided by 2. So therefore we can write 25 times 1 divided by 2. And if we simplify and multiply that is going to give us 12.5 square units the area of this blue rectangle. So thus after all the calculations and manipulations our angle x turns out to be 15 degrees whereas the area of this uh, blue rectangle turns out to be 12.5 square units as well. And that's our final answer. Thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos. Bye.